Hey everyone, welcome to the Psychic Tarot Card Reading. Think of a question you guys wanted your answers to. Just think of this, like whatever question you have, I was going to say song, but think of whatever question you guys might have right now. And I'll be pulling, should we pull two cards or seven cards? Hmm. Maybe seven might be a bit too much, huh? I don't know. We could, but we'll definitely pull two cards. And I'll read out what it says. And hopefully you guys get your answer from that to whatever you're looking for. Let me just focus that a little bit for you. It's very nice. sound stuff like you have to be so careful like otherwise it's like you know like they can't hear shit so you can just be as loud as you want right but with this it's like uh is it too loud or you know all right anyways what do we already trace this my memory is so bad anyways okay Okay, have you guys thought of your questions? Have ya? Do you feel lucky? Punk? I'm joking. Uh, quoting The Mask. My favorite childhood movie, by the way. I think it's still cool straight off, but you know what I mean? It was like something like that was the coolest thing ever when I first saw it, but... The first one, not the second one. I don't even count the second one. That's just doesn't exist for me. I'm joking, but you know what I mean. Okay. Okay, so if you guys asked your question or thought of your question, whatever you guys might want to ask. Yes. Okay. Wait, I don't know. Wait, shouldn't I ask a question too? I'll ask a question too, that way it just seems, you know, consistent. And then whatever cards I pull will be like, I guess, the answers to your questions that you, like, you're asking yourself or whatever. And then the question, like, the answers to the question that I ask as well. Okay, um, you know what, this is the trickiest part. Like, I have no idea what to ask. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, like what, what what the hell do I ask like sorry for the language but like what the heaven do I ask wait is that just as bad I don't know okay but like what do I ask is what I'm trying to say you know it's like there's so much stuff um I guess we could just do like when will corona end when will it end or when will it get better no that's kind of gay I mean Cause I'm pretty sure it's gonna like get better by like September, October, right? So it's kind of like just I don't know. Have you guys thought of a question you want to ask? Like we could ask some like something stupid. Like you know I don't know since like majority of the people that watch this are girls. I guess I'll ask something like that like about true love and shit because ladies you know they're all about that stuff in it all right does true love really exist i know it's a dumb question 
but let's find out if there's like if they actually exist because I haven't found it to be honest but let's just see okay so should we like spread them out or should I just pick the top two cards or like the top and the bottom card like we usually do right let's just stick with that for now okay so this is the top card transformation okay wicked all right and now the bottom card balance oh shit that's kind of cool don't know what they mean but i have no idea what they mean to be honest but all right now i wish i should have like i don't know i don't feel like i should have something like else like but whatever, it's just for fun anyways. So we'll find out if true love really exists or if it's just like a marketing scam to make us buy stupid shit. No offense, but you know what I mean. Transformation. Autobots roll out. No, I can't do the voice. Transformers voice. Autobots transform and roll out. No, it's gay as fuck. Alright, sorry. No, I don't mean gay like that, obviously, but you know what I mean. Alright. Let me just zoom that in a bit. Well, not zoom it, I mean, like, focus it, but what if, uh. Alright. Transformation 13. Oh, how about that? I found it in our first try. Doesn't happen often, but I'm super grateful that it did. Alrighty. Alright, blah 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 blah. Okay. A time of endings is close at hand. Don't resist the abrupt changes that are suddenly happening in your life. These could be taking place in your personal life, relationships, business, or career. You have the strength. You have the strength as a transformation card asks you to have courage and to know that renewal follows every conclusion. This card comes forth to remind you that the death of an old way of thinking and believing must occur before you can move forward on your new path. Transformation is all about the ebb and flow of life cycles. Nothing in this life remains motionless. Everything is on its way to somewhere. Accept the changes, an opportunity will come to expand you in more ways than you could have ever imagined. You can't live in the past, it's time to move on. In order to take the next positive step, you should look closely at your own life and ask yourself, are there loose ends that need to be tied up? Are there people in my life whom I need to express myself to? What needs to be completed so I can have a fresh start? When you do so, you'll have a stronger, more reinforced foundation to carry you through the new beginnings that await you. Traditional tarot archetype death. Oh shit, that's some deep shit. Alright. Now we gotta find balance, yo. Oh, right there. How about that? We ain't ever get two cards in a row like that. Usually I have to like shuffle through the damn book, but I mean, no offense to the book because apparently this is supposed to have magic and I can't really make fun of it. But, okay. This card represents the need for balance and harmony with your inner life as well as, well as with what's surrounding you in the physical world. This donates that some lifestyle adjustments are required at this time. It could be associated with love, relationships, business, or even your career. Are all these cards the same, bro? Are they what? Maybe we just read something like that. Okay, anyways. Like, 
you know, that's a nice way to make money. Like, let's make the biggest cards that, like, you know, fall under every question. The balance card is also being shown to make... No. The balance card is also being shown to you to make you realize what you perceive to be happening around you. It's really an externalization of an inner process or conflict that you may be currently experiencing. This card will often appear if you work in the legal field or when you're involved in law related matters. <laughs> oh my god, you yeah, shit. No, I'm not a bad boy. Alright, have faith that justice will triumph and justice and karma go hand in hand. Take only what you've earned. Treat people fairly and don't take advantage of anyone. This is all part of living a balanced karmic life. When determining something, there must be. Oh, I guess there must be. Without even read the B part, okay. When determining something, there must be a state of balance emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually, so that you can make rational decisions and logical judgments. This is a time to be honest and caring and responsible for the choices that you've made, as well as the ones that will be made in the future. Traditional tarot archetype justice. Wow. Isn't that weird? So weird. Alright, well, yeah. So, yeah, this is what it says. So, whatever questions you guys ask, these are your answers. However, you might want to interpret them. I personally don't understand shit, but yo.